All right, hey there, Proxians. This is Proxify here, and guys, we're back to another episode of the Mother 3 Let's Play. And if you guys missed out in the last episode, uh, basically what happened here is is that we are finally inside the Mole Cricket area. Uh, we also went and taken care of two mini bosses, I guess. Uh, if, if, if you want to call them actually mini bosses, uh, we actually went and battled out the Squeak, and we also went and uh, also battled out the Mole Cricket once again. Uh, which the strange thing is, is that if I'm not mistaken, if you actually go and look out at, at the uh, biography or on the wiki or uh, I think on the Mother 3 wiki or something, uh, you can actually tell uh, that I believe the level for the Mole Cricket here in this chapter is actually at like level 45, but you can actually destroy it within like one turn, which I think that's uh, relatively crazy, uh, just to uh, just to uh, see what that's all about. Um, but anyways, uh, here in this episode for today, guys, this is going to be somewhat of a relaxing type of episode. I don't really think there's anything too much of the sort to really be going on over here. Um, I don't know if we actually do need the... Uh, uh, need the other mole cricket uh, th that we actually do well I think I'm pretty sure that we still had the mole cricket with us right because I think during the last episode okay yeah we actually still had the mole cricket brother okay that's all good that we need to know about that because I'm pretty certain if you actually do head on out of here uh, you will actually unfortunately lose out on the mole cricket brother uh, on the mole cricket brother uh, but you should actually be able to uh, uh, re go and pick that back up uh, uh, back down here if you actually do need to go and use the uh, the uh, just to go and use the mole cricket for any type of lotus plant that's actually going to be here But I actually do have a guide with me uh, just to figure out on how exactly that we need to go and do this maze Because if you guys look at the map, uh, I think over here uh, don't, don't we have the mole map? Hmm, I guess no problem here, I guess um, I thought we already had ourselves the mole map or, or, or something like that from before But I guess uh, unfortunately we can't really go and check what that's uh, all about then um, But uh, anyways uh, since we actually do have uh, the maze uh, guide here to go and help us out, uh, there's really no like enemies or any of the sort like that uh, for today. So that's going to be relatively nice until uh, we actually start going uh, a little bit uh, further in depth. But uh, enough about me blabbering on. Uh, I know that we're already like two minutes into the video right now, but uh, hopefully you guys have yourself a good Tuesday out here. You guys should also be seeing a Renegade Platinum. And uh, without further ado, let's go and, uh, and do this thing over here. So, uh, if we actually go and walk all the way down, I believe one of these moles actually, uh, want to tell you, uh, somewhat of a little bit of a tip, is that every time that, that you see any type of corner, you have to go and take it. Um, and, uh, so just basically go with what the mole cricket advice is all about, and, uh, you should be okay. So if you want to go and, and uh, what's on the other end of this mole cricket hole, everything over there is mysterious, uh, for some reason. I'm not brave at all, but I'm too scared to go. Now, it has to be one of these guys out here. If there's a turn, turn, even if you don't want to, uh, do that and you'll eventually reach the other end of the mole cricket hole. Have faith in yourself and proceed. And, uh, and not uh, straight ahead. Uh, time for another song. It's all twisty, turny road, but it's not for the paths I chose. But don't complain, but it's just a grin to bear it. Uh, but as you go down to the twisty, turny road, it's not just the path that I choose. Uh, who, di uh, who did choose it? I wonder. Okay, well, you know what? I think that's about it. Uh, we don't really have to worry about the other mole cricket that is going to be here, but... Okay, let me just go and follow exactly where we're going to be going out here. So it seems that we do have to go ahead all the way down this little path and just keep on walking. You can walk or run, it doesn't really matter, but this is the first turn that you actually want to go to and uh, it's going to be like this for quite a while. So head down this way and uh, let's just go and head down here and see where else this is going to take us. So we already know that's going to be a dead end. Uh, let me just see where else we're gonna be heading to. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now we have to go ahead down this way here, and I think we just keep on following this way. This sh this weird uh, little maze path should uh, take us right to our next destination, which it should be. Uh, I think it's this one here. From what I'm looking at. Okay. So you want to go and head up this way, and then keep on following it, and then just do the next turn, and then you'll be able to head down here. And let's see where else we're going to go. Okay, so now we just need to keep on heading all the way down this way here. And don't even worry about any of those. Just worry about just keep on falling down. Okay, so now we're down here. Okay, now we just have to go down this way. Alright, gotcha. So we need to fall down here and then take this path. And this will lead us straight up here. And then just keep on heading up this way for a little bit. I don't know if I should probably just like cut this part out or whatnot. Uh, there's nothing really too much of the sort that's just going to be going on, but I think also too we also are going to be encountering some other new uh, enemies in the process uh, relatively uh, soon because uh, we are going to be buying out some yetis. 
And I think if we go and hit down, I think this one, if I'm right, yep, I think I'm right. And then we just need to go up this way. Let me just figure out on my guide here. Okay, yep, so we go up this way. Fold this way down. And then you just keep on heading straight down from this way. Yep. Anytime that you see any of this black looking hole thing, you just keep on falling down through and you should be uh, somewhat okay. Alright, gotcha. So now we just need to go and fall down this way here, and it should be the first turn up this way. Yep. And then here we go. I think we're almost out. Because I think this should be the end of it here. Can I just check out my map if I can? Oh, I can't even do that at all. Okay, now for this one, I think all we have to do is just uh, come around this turn. And then just go up this way here. Well, I... Uh, oh man, I should have just actually just went around just in the normal turn. Not even had to do that full thing right there. Okay, here we go. I think we're literally out. I think we don't really need to worry about the maze here anymore. Let me just make sure. Because I don't want to have to go and turn off my guide if this is going to be the end. Or, or, or uh, still not be the end. Just make sure. Yep, so now we just keep on heading straight up from here. So keep on going. Uh, okay, I think this should be it. This should be the last and final turn up here. Yep, and there it is, guys. Alright, gonna turn off my guide. And welcome to one of my most favorite uh, actual OST from Earthbound, and I believe this actually gets uh, a remix over here uh, for Mother 3. So, well, I guess this is uh, where we part ways, so I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as being a pretty cool guy, okay? And there we go. So, welcome to the snowy area. I don't really know exactly what this place is actually known as yet, but... Hey, there's actually one of the snowmen here uh, back from uh, Earthbound, if you guys remember during the uh, Magicant uh, type of place that we went to. So welcome! I'm surprised anyone would actually come to such a cool place. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that, that for, like, literally for us, like, Lucas, for example, is like all in, in his shorts and in his shirts. It, it, like, uh, he's gonna probably be really cold. <laughs> well, knowing from knowing from experience, I've actually worn uh, both shorts and also a shirt, like, like, in cold weather, and... Technically, it's not really all that too entirely bad. Uh, so let me just go for a picky love alpha. Now these guys, uh, well, it, it should be basically uh, relatively obvious because these guys can actually get hit with any type of PK fire, so anything can literally knock them out relatively fast. Ooh, nice smash attack. I don't know if that should really be uh, the end of these guys, but we'll see. We're gonna set up for a nice good old PK fire uh, beta right here, and I think just do another normal attack should be okay. He's gonna charge for it out. There we go, and he's gone. So this is actually known as the Ten Yeti. This is actually one of my favorite enemies that are here in this area because they are just so cute and adorable. Because <laughs> just their just just their faces alone is just like absolutely adorable, even though that they are an enemy though. Uh, now these guys are relatively easy. Uh, all you really do need is PK Fire Beta, and I think they actually go down in I think one hit. I could be wrong, but. But this literally takes care of like almost their whole entire health out here. Yep, and they can just go in for a nice good big old hit on these chili dogs. And yeah, you actually got like 505 experience, so not all that too bad. Got ourselves a double jerky, nice. Let's actually go and take a little bit of a uh, quick peek at uh, about what this double jerky is. So it, twice dry jerky restores 160 HP, Jesus. Wow, we are grabbing some really nice good uh, uh, healing items right now. Yep, so again, just go for another good quick attack out here, go for a fire beta, and just keep on doing what we're doing. Now, uh, they did say, I think during a few episodes back, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from Doria, I, I believe, uh, I believe he did say that there was actually something, uh, uh well, actually, sorry, not Doria, uh, I, I believe, uh, the Mole Cricket, uh, during the last time that we were battling it, said that there was actually another needle that was up here in the snowy region, so, it's, uh, pretty interesting to go in and, uh, check what that's all about. Ah! The Ten Yeti's back. Now, you guys seem like very nice people, but I'm sorry, man, that I have to go and knock you out. Okay, well, let's go set for a fire beta out here and go for a nice good hit. There we go. 135 damage. Let's set for the fire beta. Hopefully, that is gonna hopefully knock it out, but. Oh, it's. Uh, it's a uh, flea's flying. Oh, God. Okay, well. Maybe I should have kept that flea powder during uh, with us. Wow, that was actually relatively scary. 
Okay, let me just go for a nice good hit out here. Oh, come on. PK Love, could that do at least something? Yes. Alright, game team. Good job. 633 EXP. Nice. Very nice. I think we're almost finished. Oh, God. Really? Now we got 10 yetis and also chili dogs out here? Uh, nope, nope, nope. See you later. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there something up there? I'm kind of intrigued to see what that other area, or whatever that other path is all about, because that does seem uh, like a place that maybe our present could probably be lurking in the distance. Oh, wow, so these guys also do call out for help, it seems like. That's not very fun at all. There we go. Chili Dog has become tame, so we'll go and take that. Come on, there has to be at least a present down here somewhere. Yeah, I thought so. They would have just not just put this path here for nothing. Cancer bracelet? What the heck? Well, this is interesting. What the heck is this all about? Uh, does this actually boost up anything? This is a bracelet for a Cancer Zodiac sign. Plus 20. Okay. So, if we give that over to, uh, to Kuatora, would that do anything? Uh, we got ourselves a Taurus bracelet. Uh, so that is actually 68. So, yeah, that would be, uh, relatively nice. Now, uh, what do we have on on us right now. We actually have the Capricorn bracelet. Now I think we add in the uh the Taurus bracelet onto uh onto Lucas. We should be uh we should be able to get ourselves a little bit of uh increase on our defense. Uh but let's just go and give that over to Kumatora. Kinda help us out here and we'll give over the Taurus bracelet and we'll give that over to Prox here. There you go. Not too shabby. Uh Capricorn bracelet. We do have the Taurus bracelet, so that's going to up us on our defenses there. So, yes, we will surely take that and also throw out the Capricorn bracelet away. We don't need it. See ya. There we go. Nice. Get a little bit of some extra stat boosts out there. Oh, man. Here we go. Got some more chili dogs. Okay, let's just do it. It's a tag team battle out here. Again, really not should be all that too difficult. Because Fire Beta literally takes care of both of these guys uh, in no time. PK Freeze Beta, ooh, ouch. Ah, uh, of course, we got solidified. So now this battle's not gonna get easy. Oh, try to call for help again. Come on, dude, get out of here. Well, at least we're gonna get ourselves a lot of EXP for this. Okay, uh, let's just go set for another one. Attack. No, you better not freeze me, I swear. Oh, body attack, ouch. Okay, well, at least that missed. Okay, so you're dead. Here we go. Come on, Kumatora. Just still be alive out here for this. Nice. All right. Good job, guys. Well, we actually do have some of that. Uh... Ooh, they actually left the present. It was a secret herb. Uh, so I guess we know what type of items that they actually drop up here. Well, uh, let's go step on our PSI. We're going to use up some Life of Alphas. Kumatora. Nice. Uh, on us as well, too. And is everybody good? I want to just check out the stats. 97, 74, 19. Uh, we should probably just do one more. Do another life up. There we go. There we go. Now we're maxed out. Now we're set. We're ready for anything now. Hang up this. We got some more of these 10 yetis. Uh, watch out. Okay. We're all good. I think this should be the last bit up here. Ah, there's the item storage guy. We can actually go and put away uh, Doria's memento out here. So let me go and deposit. We actually do have Doria's Memento, another thing that we do want to keep. Uh, so let's just go and add that to there. And I think there is also a save point up ahead, so we should be able to go and do that relatively quick. What is this? Oh, I think it's just a part of the of the ground. Hey, save frog, how are you doing? Hop, slip, do you need something? Yes, I do. Uh, let's just go check our uh, DP out here. Wow, 3,000. So we're, unfortunately not... Uh, over at our uh, 7,000 DP from what we had before, but I think I may probably do some off report grinding up as well here. Um, have we ever checked out our uh, stats for our guys yet out here? So we actually do have uh, 1,400 left. We still have 30, uh, 3,001. Okay, so we still have like 3,000 EXP to still go through. Uh, and Boney's almost up to another level relatively soon, so we could battle out more of those 10 Yetis, but I think we got a little bit of some cutscenes up here, so we'll go and take care of that first. Hey, you guys, there's a hot spray. Maybe I didn't even have to worry about that at all, <laughs> trying to do all of our life-ups. Uh, so, 
Uh, I'm, I'm a little cricket. I followed you up here. I study, uh, you see, uh, I have an undying sense of curiosity. It's like uh, the call of the wild and all that. Uh, for whatever reason, I picked up all sorts of stuff along the way, so please let me use that conduct business. Uh, okay, sure. Let's see what we got out here. We got some sincerity dumplings, a warm sweater. Interesting. Uh, we also got ourselves a Bantam charm, bear hat, white ribbon, and cancer bracelet that we can also give over to, uh, as, as well okay let me just go and end this right for right now thank you i still do this but i'm going to work as hard as possible so can we still be able to go and talk to him oh yes okay so we still be able to go and talk to him still oh man i think it's about time that we probably should start uh grabbing our dp for this okay so do you need something uh yes we do we want some dp yes i think we're just going to go and grab out the full 2000 because I would like to uh, do a little bit of some selling. So whatever reason, I picked up all sorts of stuff. Yep, okay. Alright, sincerity dumplings we don't need. Uh, Bantam charm uh, to be equipped on the body for 15. Uh, plus 15, nice. White ribbon. Uh, now, I, I'm pretty certain, I don't know if that's going to probably help out with bony, but we could probably pick that up. Double jerky, flea powder. Not too shabby of stuff. Uh, bear hat, interesting enough. We could probably give that over to, uh, over to, uh, Major Prost or Kubatora. I'm trying to think, like, exactly what I do need here. Now, War Sorter is going to be, like, kind of, like, our highest thing so far. Or, well, uh, sorry, our Cancer Brace was going to be one of the highest things so far. Um, okay, let's go and start off with the, uh, I guess, start off with the, um, I don't know what to start with first. Uh, I could probably go for the warm sweater first and then start buying out all of this. Phantom Charm. I could probably just go and just buy out this first. Put that on Prox. Sell your little coat? No. Uh, oh. Okay, so we have too much in our inventory. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so let me just go for... We got ourselves a banter charm. Uh, we got ourselves a bear hat. We could probably go and buy that. I'm gonna put that there. And then we also got bony. White ribbon. We could probably go and grab. There we go. So that takes care of a little bit of stuff. Um, let me just see here. We got the banter charm. But I don't want to get rid of the Alola coat because. Let me see here. Um, our equipment. So that does plus 15. So if I go and switch that over there. Okay, so the Alola code is not really the greatest because it actually gets dropped. Uh, but it's strong against fire though. And I wouldn't mind adding that to uh, Kumatora. Now we also do have, I think, a cow hat, right? Which we can wear. Or the bear hat, which we actually do need to give that over to, uh, or to Prox. So let me just go and do a little bit of some moving around. We can go and give that. We'll give that over to Boney. And then Bear Hat will go and give that over to Crocs. Because that should probably help us out a little bit. Okay. Kids hat. Got the bear hat. So 82. Wow, that actually is a big plus right there. We can go and sell off that kids hat now, because we don't even need that anymore. Uh yes. Okay, let me just go and sell. Ah, kids hat. Perfect. There, don't even need that anymore. And then I believe Boney is the last one. And uh, we just need to go and add onto that ribbon there. Uh, we got the cow hat there. We got ourselves the white ribbon, so that'd be 67. Asian ribbon is 63. So I guess we can. Well, right now, uh, we could probably go and set that up. Yeah, white ribbon. There we go. Uh, now, what do we have? We still have the Asian ribbon there. Now, I guess we could probably go and sell off the other Asian ribbon. There we go. Sell uh, on Boney. Asian ribbon, we'll go and sell that off. Um, and I think... Cow hat, that's plus 10. But we already have the... Uh, we already have... The, uh, the bear hat, which I believe that actually is a lot better. Yeah, that's plus 15, so we don't really need the cow hat anymore, so we could probably go and sell that. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think the cow hat is really. Well, actually, we still have that, I think, for uh, for Boney, so we could probably leave it, I guess. Okay, there's just a whole bunch of other stuff that I kind of want to uh, go and worry about uh, for off recording, I guess, because uh, I'll, I'll go and uh, do some off record grinding and all that other stuff to go and get everything else complete. I don't really want to have to go and kind of waste up on too much of time for you guys out here. So in the next one, uh, we'll go and continue a little bit further throughout this destination here for right now. Uh, so uh, we'll do that for next time. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.